Pisco and Singani are two incredibly similar yet unique South American spirits. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make a cocktail called the Cat Video, which is a riff on a Pisco Sour that uses Singani and Pisco and Creme de Violette. Ever since I did my video on what is Singani, I've been really searching and looking for cocktails that incorporate Singani in them. And I discovered this cocktail cat video in the Cocktail Codex, which is a fantastic book written by the same people who wrote the Death & Company cocktail book, which is one of my absolute favorites. And this cocktail cat video was created by Natasha David in 2015, and it's kind of like a spin on a Pisco Sour with a little bit of a twist. But right, with that being said, let's just jump right into it. So we're gonna grab our shaker. We're gonna do a half ounce of freshly squeezed lemon juice. So we're gonna grab our citrus juicer and do a half ounce of lemon juice. And then we are also going to do a half ounce of lime juice. So let's grab our lime and freshly squeeze a half ounce, ah, a half ounce of lime juice. That's a tiny baby lime, so we'll have to use another one. All right. And a half ounce of lime juice. We are gonna do three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup. One and a half ounces of El Gobernador uh, Chilean Pisco. In truth, the original recipe calls for one and a half ounces of Kappa Pisco, which is a different Chilean Pisco. Um, but I don't have Kappa Pisco, so we are gonna use El Gobernador, which is pretty good as well. A half ounce of our Singani, which will be very interesting to see how they play together because the El Gobernador is a little bit smoother and a little bit more subtle in its uh, floral notes whereas the Singani just punches you right in the face with its florality. So I'm excited to see how that works out. So we'll do a half ounce of the Singani. And the other difference that unfortunately I have to sub in an ingredient for is it calls for a teaspoon of Creme Vet, which is a liqueur that's made with violet petals, but they also have an, a couple of other added flavors to it. I don't have a bottle of Creme Vet and I cannot find it anywhere, but I do have a bottle of Giffard's uh, Creme de Violette and while I understand that it's probably not exactly the same, uh, the idea, I really wanna just show you this cocktail and just understand that you should, you should just use Creme Vet if you have the ability to get it. Um, and instead of a bar spoon, we're gonna be doing about a quarter of an ounce of this because I really wanna make sure that we get good violet flavor in there because I don't want it to get lost uh, due to the, uh, the Pisco here and the Singani. So now that we've done that, Last but not least, we are gonna do one egg white. I'm actually gonna crack it into the large tin, just in case, and then we will transfer it over to the small tin. And then we are gonna just get that egg white right in there. Oh, and look at that, I did mess up. <laughs> Time to go get another egg. All right, take two. <laughs> try not to mess this one up, Louie. All right, we're gonna crack it on the side and try to only get the egg white in there. All right, oh, there we go, success. All right, now that we did that, we are going to combine the ingredients in our shaker here, and we're gonna do what is known as a dry shake, meaning we're gonna shake this with no ice, just to really froth up this egg and combine these ingredients before we add ice and do what is known as a wet shake, which will then finish diluting our cocktail and chilling it down. You're gonna shake this until your arm falls off, and then you're gonna add ice and shake it some more. All right, and then we're going to add some ice to this. And round two of shaking. All right, and we do that to make sure that we can safely drink this egg. That is very frothy. It has like a nice little purple tint to it. But let me not keep it from you guys any longer. We'll just talk about it in a moment. All right, now popped, out, popped our shaker open. We're gonna grab our chilled coupe and we're going to double strain and waiting a little bit just for the cocktail to settle. 
before we finish it out. So we're gonna double strain into our coop and you'll see this light purple, almost lilac kind of color, though the egg white's still kind of overpowering. So in terms of the color anyway. So let's let that settle. And in the meantime, I'm gonna prepare one of our two garnishes. I need to make a lemon peel and grab an edible orchid. And so while we wait for this to finish settling, um, I'll be honest with you, I have no idea why this cocktail is called the cat video. I, I wish I had uh, an explanation for you, um, but the book doesn't really say, and I, have, I don't know, I don't know. I like the name, it sounds pretty nice. I like, you know, we've all watched cat videos on the YouTubes, you know? Um, maybe only the older people on YouTube have, maybe I'm just showing my age. Right, and then we're just gonna pour a little bit more out, trying not to overflow too much. So I'm not really sure if on, cam on uh, with the camera you guys can tell, but it is a little bit more of a, a purplish color, um, though it may look like to you guys that it's just like a regular frothy white looking color, but in person there is like a purple tint to it. So uh, we are gonna do a lemon peel. We're gonna be expressing the oils of the lemon peel and then discarding it um, because we don't need that uh, lemon peel on there because we're going to be garnishing with an edible orchid which is gonna make this cocktail look nice and pretty. Wow, now just look at that. That is a beautiful cocktail and it is a lovely, lovely cocktail. And now let's give it a sip. Ooh, yummy. Wow, that is really good. Wow, that's, I need to go back in for seconds. Hold on. That's lovely. That is as lovely as a regular Pisco Sour, velvety smooth, the citrus is there, the sweetness is there, it gives that a nice body. What sets it a completely apart is how these three ingredients play together. The Pisco, the Singani, and the Creme de Violette. You get that violet flavor, not unlike an aviation. Um, so if you do, if you ever had an aviation or even like a water lily, uh, those cocktails have a really prominent violet flavor, but it's mixed with the floralness and florality from the Singani and the Pisco, which is very kind of in your face, but it doesn't come across that way in this cocktail. It's very easy to drink and it just makes for a smooth, delicious violet, floral cocktail on the basis of a Pisco Sour, which is one of my favorite cocktails. Like you can't you can't go wrong with that. Uh, that's just, that's excellent. That's excellent. But there you have it guys, the cat video. If you enjoyed this video, it would mean the absolute world to me if you can come on over here and hit that like button. It's such a simple and easy way for you to help me out. It shows YouTube that you like my video and maybe that means that they'll show me to more people and that would make me super duper happy. Um, but I've got an amazing cocktail to get back to. You guys stay being awesome and we'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.